Alright, hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and here we are, part 2 of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. I'm trying to do this part before it works, so I'll get it done soon, but let's just see what happens. Alright, so there's the guy, why don't you Professor Crane, so let's go ahead and head to his room and talk to him. Uh, where's Professor Crane? Uh, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Oh, Meteors, welcome back. Were you gone far away? Huh? The director? He went downstairs just a while, a little while ago. Professor Crane did. You didn't bump into him? I guess not. Okay, well, what does this guy have to say? I'm making a good podcast with data for the Purify team. I can just picture happy Lily Poopy when the podcast is finally completed. Alright. Uh, so, apparently the guy you want to talk to is not here. So, oh, before I go, ah, I want to show off something. Crap. I right, just go back to show that off real quick. Alright, see this guy under the tables. Talk to him. Z Snork. On closer inspection, Jovi's attempts to make it become apparent. Ha ha, Jovi tried writing, putting makeup on him. Ha. That's kind of like Jigglypuff when they, when they slept for a show or something. Draw a little marker on them. Anyway, let's continue along here. Going up. This part was kind of annoying for me to do at first. We're trying to figure out what the couple to do because, you know, the person I was talking to, talk to wasn't here. So you'll see that, you know, your mom's not there anymore. So let's go over here and go in here. And you'll see Professor Crane just standing there. Finally, he notices you. Hi there, Meteors. I've been waiting for you. I need to show you the snack machine. Has that, has anyone said anything about the snack machine? Uh, let's just say no. Why not? The snack machine is a special device for snagging Pokemon. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it. And now, it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing the Meteor. Meteors will you help us? Yes, please. Okay, step inside, please. That's a really slow walk. I should tell you, the slime machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But we didn't make this to, we didn't make this to steal Pokemon indiscriminately from trainers. Meteors, you've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They're Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines and are having their carts closed by artificial means. They're to be pitied. We developed the slime machine to take back such modified Shadow Pokemon. Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our slime machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. Am I, like, the only trainer here? Well, that's true, the other guy has, like, a level 5 centered, I guess. The sound machine is inside the cage. Try equipping it right away, please. Press A at the little machine. You are now a cyborg! Okay, we get it. You have a, you have a metallic arm. We get it. Wow, it fits you perfectly. It looks cool, too, meteors. I, I also add a new feature to your PDA. It's called the Shadow Monitor. It lets you check the data on Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. Meteors obtain the Shadow Monitor feature. And now you'll see a little option there for Shadow Monitor. It tells you like what Pokemon you've captured, what their data are, and stuff like that. Thank you, Aiden. That's it, Meteors. That's spot on. From here on, it'll be a lot easier to just show you how it works in practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the Battle Sim System room. Alright. Whoops, how silly, man. I almost forgot to give you these. In order to use this time machine, you need to have at least one Pokeball, so I'll give you these. Meteors obtain the five Pokeballs. Pokeballs aren't used in the ore region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry over to the director. What's going on? Aye, aye. What, what's going on? Who are you people? Who are you people? It's terrible, Meteors. Some strange man came barging in, took off with the director. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. You know, this game had some pretty cool music, actually. I like this game a lot for this music. Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? Foo 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 foo! I'm taking you to their new lab, Professor! What? My new lab? Move it! We don't have any time! If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car! You people! What are you? <sighs> we gotta stop them. Stop them. Huh? What is it, you punk? Are you going down to play here and try to stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone. Not even kids. I gotta love this music, actually. Spy Naps would like to battle. Spy Naps sent out Teddy Ursa. Why, should, why am I naming that part anyway? Eevee, destroy everything. Obvious jokes are obvious, and I'm gonna make them. What is that? Jeez Louise, what is that? Meteors, the aura reader is responding. That's a shadow Pokemon. Hurry, Meteors, hurry, throw a Pokeball at it. Fight. But 
Come on, everyone knows you have to weaken a Pokemon before you throw a Pokeball at it. Whatever. Pokeball, use. Don't expect this to work every single time. Well, on this Pokemon it will, but every other time beyond this, it's not going to work every time, so I don't even think it will. Pretty much, it's going to capture it with that Pokeball every single time, period. No matter what health it's at, you know, it's just, it's just you know, a scripted scene. Gotcha, Teddy Ursa was caught. Player defeated Spine Naps. That was a difficult battle if I ever say so myself. What was that? My Shadow Pokemon, was that? Was it a snag? Teddy Ursa, join your party. Kid, what is that machine on your arm? Could it be? A snag machine? What the heck is that doing here? That's big news. Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters, like, now. Actually, I can't really tell if they're guys or girls, judging by the helmets they have on, so I'm assuming the, guy with the, I'm assuming the person with the red is a girl, maybe. So they head off with the professor, and so our means to stop them was useless aside from catching a shadow Pokemon, but eh, what can you do? I mean, win some, you lose some, I suppose. Aw, Jovi's crying. Jovi's sad. Wow, they took the professor away! Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. Sniff! We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will tr again try making Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. Meteors. The Teddy Ursa you signed probably isn't the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purified Chamber is completed, we will be able to save many Shadow Pokemon at the same time, but... Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Let's complete it. Let's finish the Purified Chamber ourselves. Lily? The director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purified Chamber project just got this far, not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data progress processing is progressing. Alright, so let's go ahead and go upstairs and see what she has to work on here. Yeah, this is the introduction, so not much is going to be happening too often here. Not much is really going to be happening aside from just, like, you know, talking, basically it. So go into this room here. This basic data should be fine now. Let's keep going with it. Meteors, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me in Gadian Port? We've ordered a special machine part for the purified chamber from the parts shop. Gadian Port is due south from here. It's not far, but be careful. Jovi knows the parts shop. It's next door to Emily's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. Jovi, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay, Jovi, you're a member of the lab staff, too. You may go if you take meteors with you. Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Okay, Mommy, Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Bull crap, I am. You have to listen to Jovi, Big Brother. Yeah, screw you. Okay, Jovi, join the party. Off we go to Gadian Port. Meteors, Jovi, both of you, be very careful, please. I'm counting on you, too. Alright, let's get out of here. Freaking assistant. Yeah, get the crap out of here. I, I don't want Pokemon. I could easily just like throw you off and ditch you. You know, but, you know, I have to because, you know, it's, you know, whatever. I, I, I really don't know what to say to that, really. Uh, running, running is always fun. Alright, so let's head over to Gideon Port and see what we have to go from there. Hey, Meteors, Jovi, where are you two off to? Jovi's on an important trip to Gadian Port. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh? Meteors is your assistant? Uh, you must be confident with a good assistant, Jovi. 
Anyways, meteors, can you can we ask you to hold on to that sign machine and use it? There may be other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll make approaches to the other authorities and other people that have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. I wanted to give these to you, meteors. Meteors obtain the Crane Memo 1, which I'll never read. Same with Memo 2. There are documents on Shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. Pretty much, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the documents are pretty much saying, you know, those who haven't actually played Gale of, not Gale of Dragons, but Coliseum, it actually goes into de describing, like, what happened in the events. I guess I could really, I guess I could cover those, but I, th I think I'll cover those right now. I'll get into that later. Wow, big brother, look, look, it's the sea, the sea, it's so big. Listen, listen! Oh my god, you're Navi now! The part shop is over there! Hurry, big brother! This way! This way! You look very, um, static. Ouchies! Jovi fell down! Hey now! Where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry! Jovi is sorry! It wasn't on purpose! And look what you've done! You've messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around! Good! Sorry doesn't begin to cut it! Huh? You there! Yeah, you, punk! You're with this much again, aren't you? And it looks to me like you're a trainer! You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin! I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokémon! That's really, really bad for my throat. It's probably not a good idea to do that. Or an like that. That's quite enough of that. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it! Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching as someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you, too? Perhaps I should. Or, Mr. Varick, perhaps I should. Ha! Huh. And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This, this gets better by the minute! Let's see you try! <laughs> Mr. Man Erdos sent out Alakazam. Alakazam, you psychic. Um... Pwned, basically. That's all I can really say to that. Mystery Man Artos defeated Thug Zook. Y your power! Where does it come from? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start narrating. I'm gonna stop narrating that guy like that. You've done it now. Don't you think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook? Remember this. Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, I changed the voices like three times already. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Uh, thank you. Ho ho ho, that hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done, nothing more. Alright, well, we're saved by some mysterious group, I guess. Uh, let's see, where, what time am I at right now? 9.24. Hmm. Alright, well, before we do anything, I guess I should show off the shop. Well, I don't really have anything to buy at the shop. Pokemon Center is there if you need to heal your Pokemon. I'm gonna go over here to the Krabby Club so we can take a look at some people here. Now look here, boy. The Krabby Club is only open to tough trainers. I suppose I could let you in if you beat me in a battle. Let's go for it. Alright, what do you have? Like, a. Uh, you know, I don't even know what you have. Probably something crappy I could easily defeat with my Pokemons. Navigator Burks at that Winkle and Lotad. And if you notice here, yes, this entire game is based in double style format. So, the th double third gen battle style for doubles is a lot different than fourth gen. And I'll get into those later when you actually get to those. Anyway, first we want to do attack the Winkle, Tater your search, Tidal Blitz, Lotad. Eevee, you spin attack! 
Now, if you notice here, all shadow moves are always going to be super effective. Always. They're always going to be super effective no matter what, unless it's against another shadow Pokemon, in which case it's not very effective. So, going to get up against a shadow Pokemon is very fierce and kind of threatening, so I would suggest being careful when you face them. Anyway, just finish off this Wingle, just get it over with. And if you notice, the more you use your turn to your side, the lower little shadow gauge goes down. If you notice there at the bottom, top right corner, top left rather, not top right, but you'll see it. Play defeated Navigator Burke. And also, the... Mm-hmm, I lose. You are really quite wonderful. You are quite strong, I must admit. I sense a fantastic potential in you as a trainer of Pokemon. The more you battle, the stronger your Pokemon shall grow. It is up to you to put in the effort. Also, there is no rule for burning anyone but tough trainers from entering the Krabby Club. We have so much idle time on our hands, I decided to play a little prank on you. Ha ha ha. Now, one thing I should mention, though is Shadow Pokemon will not level up or gain experience until you purify them. Then all the experience they've got beforehand will be put into one space. So just take note of that. Let's talk to these guys up here. They're finally over here. Hmm? Oh, it's the kids from earlier. Thank you, Mr. Qu Thank you, Mr. Cool Man. Jovi thanks you for saving Jovi earlier. Oh, is that all? That was barely putting a fool in his place. Don't worry about it. Alright. What do you have to say over here? Mr. Varric tends to, tends to his many important business undertakings from Gadian Port. We do a lot of traveling from here. When we get some rare time off, we like to relax and unwind leisurely. I'll ask that you keep qu keep it quiet and refrain from disturbing us. Wow, you're not you're not, you're not, you're not as I say the other guy, I guess. That elderly gentleman with the entourage in the ba entourage in the back? That would be Mr. Varric, and he must be quite the VIP, probably. He's been letting everyone in town feast on his money just because they'll be staying here for a while. Oh heck, I want a part of that. Sweet. Can I talk to that guy? Let me see if we can actually get in there. Nope. Can't talk to Mr. Varric, I guess. Wait, yeah. I can. Nope. No, I can't talk to him. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. There's really not much else to show off here yet, so I guess I'll just, you know, get out of here for now. I just want to talk to those guys and, you know, show what they're up to. Hmm. 927. Let's just do one more thing before we go any further. I guess let's go over here for now. Could, you could possibly run. You, you run really slow. I mean, some people are actually walking faster than you're running. That's kind of sad, actually. Jovi? Is that you, Jovi? Oh, Emily and Acri. Jovi! So, we it's you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Are you okay? Yep, Star and People helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother, Meteors. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emily. That, el that elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Varric. That's actually not really his name. That's just, you know, it's... Whatever. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist. Wherever I come across anything mysterious, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Jovi. Yep, see you, Emily. They have the same voice. Just, just saying. Uh, well... Like I said, I want to do one last thing over here. Let's go to the parts shop. Alright. Hey, do you want something here? Shopkeeper's out right now. He says something about having to go to Mr. Cumming, uh, what was it now? Well, to that doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, Purr, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges, so I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. Okay, well, great. I have to actually cut that part out for narration. Um, all right. Well, that that kind of sucks. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Here, you talk to this guy as you already said by the text. There, you probably pause. I was just gonna skip there and press B, but it wouldn't let me. So, oh well. Anyway, I was starting to press B so I could actually talk to this guy because I had to cut something out. But you know what? 
Here he gives you either a water stone, a thunder stone, a fire stone, a moon shard, or a sun shard. Since night and day do not exist in this game, there's a moon shard and a sun shard to kind of like compensate for either one. Same reason, when they get when they get a certain happiness level, they evolve into either one of these. Now, I was debating a lot between Umbreon and actually Jolteon, because this thing has enough defenses for Umbreon to be really good, but Jolteon is like the only good electric type in this game. So, I think I'm going to lean more towards Jolteon because of its speed, even though its special attack is kind of bad. Because, honestly, Umbreon can't really do too much very good and you know, what is it? Can't do too much good in one player. I know I could do great in doubles, but or in two player, but not one player. So, I'm going to get a Thunderstone here. That Thunderstone will make an Eevee evolve into the Pokemon Jolteon. It's easy to make your Eevee evolve with that Thunderstone. All I have to do is use it. Would you like to have the Thunderstone? Yes. Fine, you can have the Thunderstone, just like your Eevee, it's invaluable. Meteors obtain the Thunderstone. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something too. Alright, well, at that, I want to actually do that later. I will leave it there, so next time, I'll be going further into this and going back to Dr. Kaminko's house. Anyway, see you guys next time.